Hello guys, welcome to another video and today in this video I want to talk about sharpening Fuji RAW files. If you are a Fuji X Trend sensor camera user, you probably heard of this or you probably experienced this yourself that sharpening Fuji RAW files is not as easy as sharpening um, like Nikon RAW files, especially in Lightroom. People complaining about the wormy artifacts that they can see in Lightroom uh, using Lightroom details module. There are some couple alternatives to Lightroom if you don't want to use Lightroom. Um, Capture One and the Iridian Developer or Iridian Transformer. Um, those are probably the two most popular options um, other than Lightroom that you can use. Um, but for me, I, I do have Capture One installed. I bought a license and I just found I'm not very comfortable with Capture One's workflow. I think Capture One is a looks like a very powerful application but the workflow is not quite good as Lightroom for me, at least for me. Maybe I should use it more, maybe I should uh, learn to use Capture One you know, a little bit better. But to me, I feel like I would be more comfortable using Lightroom's workflow. That's why I still uh, use Lightroom to process most of my photos. Also, I don't use uh, Iridient X Transformer uh, that often because uh, to me I think converting Fuji RAW files within Iridian X Transformer and then export those DNG files and then import into Lightroom I think it's a little bit time consuming um, so I usually just directly import Fuji RAW files into Lightroom and also Iridian Developer as far as I know it's only for a Mac and I use Windows so I don't have Iridian Developer installed on my computer. So today I want to show you how I sharpen my Fuji RAW files uh, using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay so right now I'm in Lightroom and this is the photo I took with Fuji X-T2. Uh, you can see it's a RAV RAW file and this photo was taken in Colorado uh, this is Lake Isabel it was a great reflection uh, I'm happy with this photo and I did some basic adjustments to this photo inside the Lightroom and now I want to sharpen this Fuji RAW files let's go back let's go switch to one to one ratio first so um, I, I forgot this photo if I focused on the rock or focused on the background because I remember this photo I did uh, focus stacking so I uh, focused on the foreground and then I take another photo to focus on the background and then I combine them in post processing. Uh, I forgot this photo which point I focused on but that doesn't matter because I want to show you um, First, first thing first, I want to show you how you can reproduce the wormy effect, the wormy artifact that people are complaining with. So inside Lightroom, let's put this to default. So for my Nikon files, I can just push mount to maybe 90 to 100 and I can get uh, relatively natural sharpened results. Um, but for Fuji, as you can see, if we zoom in a little bit more, so now it's 2 to 1. Uh, as you can see, that's the wormy effects we are talking about. Uh, let me reset. So remember, now we are looking at 2 to 1 scale. So this is the original file without any sharpening applied. And if I just slide amount to the right, instead of some natural look, it has these uh, um, wormy artifacts that you can see all over the photo. Let's move to look at the trees, look at the rocks. I know it's pretty bad. So some people suggest don't increase amount but instead increase detail. Slide the details to the right. So that helps a little bit, um, but I don't think that gives me the amount of sharpening that I needed. 
for this photo. So how I sharpen the Fuji RAW files, basically I don't use Lightroom detail module at all. So I just slide amount to zero, so I don't apply any sharpening inside Lightroom. Instead, I go to Photoshop and I use the sharpening module inside the Photoshop to sharpen this photo. So basically what this does is uh, Lightroom converts Fuji RAW files to a TIFF file and open the TIFF file inside, the Lightroom, inside Photoshop. All right, now it's loaded in Photoshop. The first thing I would do is to make a copy of the photo. I usually don't adjust anything on the original layer. I will make a copy of the layer. And let's go to one-to-one -one scale. Look at the background. And um, usually I go to future and sharpen on sharp mask. Um, and then that's my setting I found works pretty good. I put 150 as a mount and the radius is 1 and the threshold is 1. And we can see that's the sharpening effect. And it doesn't have any wormy artifacts anymore. Let me click OK and zoom in a little bit closer. So there's no wormy effects anymore. Let's go back to one-to-one -to -one scale. Before, after, before, after. And let's move around and look at the trees here because this is, um, this is uh, near the edge. I think the sharpness to reduce a little bit around the edge. So I, inside of Photoshop, I can choose to uh, selective sharpening, which means I can apply additional sharpening around areas that I think um, is still not sharp. So I can go to Future, Sharpen on Sharp Mask. And this time I think, oh, hold on a second. Maybe, let me uh, make a copy first and then go to the sharpen on sharp mask so that the sharpening only applies to the new layer so I can use a mask later. Um, let's just go with, with the setting 150, uh, 1 and 1. Click on OK. And um, I just want this sharpening effect to be applied to this area. So I can create a, a layer mask um, and control I to reverse the layer mask and then Grab a brush and foreground color set to white and then just paint. Just paint in this area. All right, that's before, that's after. So I just sharpened this photo without wormy artifacts. So I just merged all the layer to the top layer. So I can deselect these two layers and we can compare the final results to the initial results. So this is before, this is after. All right, let's go back to the trees. This is before. This is after. So this is how I sharp my Fuji RAW files. I think, although it didn't work very well inside Lightroom, but I think it works fine in Photoshop. So I always bring uh, my files into Photoshop for sharpening. Let's save this photo and go back to Lightroom. All right, um, this is the photo that we sharpened inside Lightroom. Sorry, this is the photo we sharpened inside Photoshop. And this is the photo, uh, this is uh, the original RAW file in Lightroom. 
let's do uh, the sharpening inside the Lightroom so we can compare the results. Ooh, that looks pretty bad. All right, so as you can see, the photo on the left is what we sharpened in Photoshop and the photo on the right is we sharpened in Lightroom using the detail module. As you can see, the difference is huge. The difference is huge. And what I found interesting is after you convert it to TIFF and go to Photoshop and save as a TIFF, then if you go back to Lightroom, so for example, if you think this is still not sharp and this is still not sharp enough, you can go to detail um, page to sharpen in now. So this is not a original raw file. So this is the TIFF file, but on the TIFF file, you can sharpen with Lightroom without the, uh, without the wormy artifact anymore. So I just did some uh, sharpening on the TIFF file so you can see I put the amount to around 60 and there's no more wormy effects, no more wormy artifacts. So far I found the sharpening tool in Photoshop works pretty good for me, uh, works pretty good for Fuji RAW files that I took. So I'm happy uh, with the results so that's why I um, that's why I didn't like fully switch to Capture One or uh, use Iridient X Transformer. Um, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found this video useful and helpful. If you like this video, please share this video and hit the like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.